everybody, welcome to the channel. So today we're gonna be carving up a cardinal. Now we're gonna be using the stock steel MS-170 stock bar, just a homeowner saw, to be honest. This is one of the cheapest saws, if not the cheapest saw steel makes. So a lot of you learning to carve, this might be your first saw, which is a great choice, because later on when you're ready, you'll be able to change the bar into a detail bar. So we'll get into that though, maybe in a, some videos down the road on turning this into a detail saw when you guys are ready. But for now, we're gonna do our best to carve a cardinal step by step using only this chainsaw and having just a wooden piece when we're all done. No paint, no nothing, just a, a final finish like you guys saw in the thumbnail. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to hit subscribe, hit the bell, hit all, and uh, give this video a thumbs up. Let's start making some sawdust. Like I said, we're gonna start carving a cardinal. This piece is about six inches, and it's about, oh, 20 inches tall. I'm using my jaw horse. You know, I say the chainsaw is all you need, but really you should invest in a jaw horse. It's gonna make life a lot easier. Now, you can always screw a board to the bottom that's longer, and then two screws, screw it down into the top of a log to hold your piece, you know, in place. I prefer this, I think it's much, much safer. I will have links to this and other tools and things that I use through Amazon in the description below. Also have social media there, you guys can follow me, check all that stuff out. Now, one of the very first things I really do wanna go over before we fire this up is being safe. You guys should have safety shoes of some sort, definitely a pair of chaps, a pair of earmuffs, a dust mask, something to protect your eyes, and you should wear a pair of gloves that are not rubber grip. Rubber grip gloves tend to lose their grip when they get oily and greasy, so get some leather gloves or just some regular work gloves or mechanic gloves will be just fine. We're gonna have two views, one there, one here, and I'm gonna do a voiceover and give you guys all your cuts step by step. So, if you guys are ready, you got your safety gear, got your saw sharp, fired up, ready to go, let's start making some sawdust. All right guys, getting into it here, having a little bit of an off day it seems, talking on camera, who knows why, but right now we're cutting the back of the cardinal. You guys can see we got a little bit of an angle with the saw, so it's tilted to the left, the lower portion of the bar is kicked out ever so slightly, and we're running the saw down. Don't hit your jaw horse. If you have to, move the carving back so the back of it's out to the edge. Now what I wanna do is come to the top, and we're gonna start cutting down so this will be like the top of the head and shoulder area for like the top of that wing. So as we come down, all right, we're bringing it out. Now this log was about six inches across and so that top is about two, two and a half inches wide. Bring that down. See, it kind of comes down and out. Both sides should actually look the same. Um, yeah, practice making them look the same. This really, guys, you'll be able to follow these step-by-step -step cuts and perfect this carving yourself, okay? So here we're narrowing down for the top of the forehead and where the beak will roughly be. But first we gotta think about that mohawk they run. So what I like to do is angle the saw just a little bit away from the top of the head. All right, so we're just angled out a little. And then I'll do a little up cut to the bottom of that angle, removing those side pieces. Be very careful. Got to have a lot of control here so you don't whack off the mohawk you just made. All right, so mohawk, that's the top of the head there. All right, kind of cleaning it up just a little, trying to make it even on both sides. All right, guys, so sometimes it's difficult, you know, like cut by cut. Doing my best here, but we're trying to come in. Remember, we're working that little mohawk back. We're going to start working on you know, you cut below so his little mohawk sticks out past the back of his head. Kind of angle cut up remove it we'll end up removing a bunch of more material but we're going to start working on shaping the head into where the beak is so we'll have the front kind of look like a uh, a triangular or wedge shape as you see I'm coming down and scooping out so you can kind of see where the eyes would be there as that is the front coming in just behind where the head will be removing some material so his little mohawk sticks out past the back of the head. 
So look at Cardinals. Don't just rely on this video. Look at Cardinals. This is just like a super quick carve to give you guys a real basic idea. I do have other Cardinal carving videos on here. I think at least one other one that has a little more detail to it. But again, this is for, you know, like very beginner, chainsaw only, no other tools. So we're coming into where the front would be. Down about half an inch, cut back. All right, so now you guys can see where the beak will roughly be. Angling the saw, we're cutting back to that flat spot. Making sure it looks kind of like a wedge V shape, so we're not, you know, making two straight cuts back. We want to have that uh, portion of the beak where it attaches to the face should be flared out further than the end of it. All right, so now it's just kind of trying to like shape it up and over. And this guy is going to be really rough without a dime tip bar. You know, doing something other than bears can be a little difficult. It's a little difficult for me. Maybe somebody else can master it. I'm sure you can. I'm sure. I'm sure somebody has. It's coming in. So I removed a little too much material on the head. I would like that head to be a little bit wider, but it's too late to put it back, right? So you just keep going. Here we're just sort of shaving the back so it's a nice smooth line from the back of the head down the tail feathers. Coming from the side, cutting to the beak, just sort of trimming up, trimming the fat there next to where the beak would be, down the chest. Now we're gonna cut in, right? So that'd be like the lower portion of the wing. Coming in from the side of the beak, cutting the lower portion of the beak, doing the same from the other side. You see on the left-hand screen there, we're not going super deep there. Using the nose of the bar for everything, so be careful, keep an eye out for kickback. Have a good grip on your saw. Now come into that line and remove the material that's below the beak. So by making that V cut in the front, we've freed the beak up from this portion of wood. All right. Cutting from those sides, rounding down to the belly area. So now we need him to look as though he's perched, so we kind of angle. You can do kind of, if you're paying attention, you can kind of round the saw into that cut slowly. So you don't, you know, make your chain come off. But again, just rounding and narrowing the piece up a little bit there. Remove, remove. Again, very beginner, just basic concept, basic idea with just, you know, your basic standard chainsaw and stock bar. So, just a reminder. Um, if you're watching my videos though and they're really helping you guys out, it helps me out more than you guys really know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you're not, hitting subscribe. And when you hit subscribe, or if you've already hit it, and you go next to where it says subscribe, a bell pops up. You guys can hit that, and then when you do, it'll say all. Hit that all, and you guys won't miss any of my future uploads. And by doing all those things together, it helps the channel grow and it helps my videos get seen more and help me getting that much closer to making this a full-time thing and you know youtube paying the bills because right now it doesn't do it but it would be awesome if it did one day so the only way to do that is your help by uh hitting subscribe hitting the bell hit all giving videos a thumbs up and you know what even a leaving a nice comment let me know this is helping you out let me know you're interested let me know what saw you're using is it the one at ms 170 is it something else i'm always interested to know what tools are you carving with? So right there, we're kind of scraping with the nose of the bar. Remember, sanding like we have with the bears. If you guys haven't seen any other video, this is your first one of mine. I've got a lot of tutorials, so don't judge a book by its cover, okay? This isn't like my first tutorial video. There's a lot of bear tutorials on here to help you guys out. This is just the new, very beginner series that I've got going where we're just running chainsaws for those of you just starting out. So now we want to come in here and we're going to start making these tail feathers dip lower than the perch point, okay? Some angles, some angles. See how the pieces out past the jaw horse, all right? Sizing up the saw, coming in to like where his butt would be. And we're going to have to cut all the way through, straight through and then down. And that removes the piece you just cut around, knocking out knocking that piece out I mean for the, uh, the tail feathers now you can come back through again 
and you, as you come down, you kind of round the saw out slowly and carefully, working it back and forth so that you can make a rounded cut and remove that material. Now that gives him more depth. See, it makes that tail stick out that much farther. This sort of process can be done with eagles and owls and everything else so that tail looks like it's sticking out further than it is. Well, it kind of is once you remove it. So that line we just did at the top, at the side, at the front, and down at the bottom, we've outlined our wing. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so now we got some lines. There's our rough wing. Come around, do your best to match it up. It's not always going to be perfect. Your first shot, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? This is not one of my perfect ones. It's not. It is not. I'm still perfecting these guys. Normally, I'm running other tools than a stock bar and chain, but hey, I'm making this video to help you guys out. So, we'll see what we can do. We'll probably do another one because I'm not super happy with this carving, but this is what it is for right now. So, come back to those lines at an angle, right? So come from in from each side work them away nice and slowly like cut to the line cut away sand it out with the nose of the bar scraping motions right full control of the saw don't let the saw have control over you good grip using those forearms and shoulders keeping it you know in place when you're doing that movement stuff so a little more of an undercut there remove the material so looking into that cut Kind of coming down to it to the top of the wing the same process for all this will be repeated on the other side as well <clears throat> while we're here use the nose and round pieces over use it to kind of sand in or away from those overcuts or cut lines or marks from the saw i mean because we're not using any other tools, we're trying to use the nose of the bar like a sander as much as possible. Just from the back, cutting to that line, shaping down. Again, guys, studying um, a couple, two, three photos of some different angles of a cardinal before you start pinning them up in your carving area will also help you kind of recognize you know where you're carving the angle you're carving or the position you're trying to carve from the side we're making like an angle cut over those lines by the wings helping them stand out and again it's just a very basic very simple carving we're not doing anything crazy you know pieces are a little oversized or undersized those are things that will be perfected with time. Right now, it's just sort of getting the basic idea and basic shape down. You know, the first one you do, you're not always gonna knock it out of the park. There are some people I see the first one, first eagle, first bear, first cardinal they do is actually amazing. But that's not, that's not everybody. It's not always the case. Usually it's a lot of practice and I'm gonna be honest, I don't usually take these guys this far with a stock bar. Normally I've got the detail bar out by now and we're cleaning them up and adding details and rounding things over and you know what I mean? Compensating for mistakes. But by doing these carvings more with a regular bar before you do other tools, you're gonna learn how to get much farther with that stock bar and have to do less work with the other tools, really. So we're taking the saw, the nose, the bottom side of the nose, angling the saw down as you see on the left and the nose is up and we're just undercutting each line below the next. <clears throat> this is a very simple, basic, very basic pattern. This isn't like overlapping all these different layers and everything. This gives you a super, super basic long wing feather look. All right guys. Again, this is not like the most detailed look for feathers, okay? So holding the saw, the motor down low and the bar up high, using the very tip of the bar, but the closest part of the bottom side of the tip, we're coming across in one angle and kind of scooping and swooping. And what this is gonna do is give us a little bit of a feathered, uh, layered feathered look for the chest and belly area. 
as you guys can kind of see, we kind of got a layered look. Now, a dime tip bar, we could totally hone that in and do a lot better, but it is what it is with just the stock bar. So now just coming in, kind of shaping and rounding the beak, cutting in where his eyes would be if you had other power tools, but you know, trying to make those cuts with just the saw. Again, I know he's not perfect. Yours probably won't be either, but that's okay. Continue to practice and do your best. So here, it was kind of like, oh crap, because I did remove a little more material than I would like for that beak, but just keep shaping, shape things back, cut down, you know what I mean? Round it in, round the head up, do what you can do, make it work. See, basic shape, you guys can see it there. So coming into the back, angle, side of the saw, just long lines. Do like three or four across. If you want, go to the other side, come back, hit them the other way. It'll help define them and make them look, you know, a little more layered, more like feathers. And it can help that overall look. To come back, kind of remove a little bit of material there. Now here, just make some short lines. We're pretty much just using the side of a tooth. We're not like straight cutting. We're angling the saw. If you look on the left, saw's a little bit at an angle. Sideways angle, tilted left or right, right angled. That's what I'm saying. Tilting the saw on its side and doing those just very quick, basic feather pattern. Make sure to throw your initials in your piece, even if it is a total pile of junk, because it's your piece of art. And if it's amazing, you better make sure to put your initials in it. You know, what am I saying? You just spent 20 minutes, probably a little longer, creating your first one. I'm sure it's an awesome piece of art. Put your initials in it. Save it. Don't burn it. Either you'll keep it or somebody will buy it. Hey guys, so once again, this video is for the very beginner. I'm just doing a very beginner cardinal. It's a basic shape kind of thing. It's something some of you can master better than this one with a little bit of practice. This was just pretty quick on the fly, just using a regular bar, no dime tip. So it's tough to get a lot, a lot of detail. Now this is to the point where, you know, we might've taken too much away here or there, but if we were using power tools, we could clean them up and refine them, make it all work. Ooh, some kids are enjoying the pool next door. Anyway, you guys can see though, we kind of used the saw, made a little bit of a feather pattern here. Just did very, very basic one directional wing set on the side. And you guys might be able to sell these for 30, 40, 50 bucks once you burn them and maybe throw some paint on them. You know, the overall piece is what, seven, eight inches tall for the body. You know, we might have a total foot in the carving in the back there, but this is gonna give you a lot of ideas for the future when doing this, when you start to upgrade, if you decide to really get into it. And hopefully it'll help you out, you know? Help you uh, kind of get down like basic shape, basic design, basic cuts. Again, this isn't like a, uh, this isn't like, you know, a masterpiece. This isn't, this isn't like top of the line carving here. This is learning very basic kind of stuff, basic cuts and uh, getting an idea down that you can perfect later on if you decide to upgrade your tools. So with that, I hope this video has been helpful for the uh, beginner carver for those of you just learning. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. When you do, hit that bell and hit all. You guys won't miss any uploads. Be sure to give this a thumbs up and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you guys are carving these, you're just starting out and you want to share your work, go to Facebook, Kyle Hall Woodworker, New Carvers. Answer some questions, join the group, share your work, and we'll put together a New Carvers video. Now, I don't know what to do next, so you guys let me know. Tell me, what should we carve next with just this bar and no other special tools? And uh, I'll see what I can do to make it happen. Give you guys a little step-by-step -step walk you through it. Again, hope this will be helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Big shout out. Thank you to all my members that currently help support the channel. You guys are awesome. I really do appreciate it. Hope you all have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.